Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installing Drupal on local server. To install Drupal in your system, you should have a system supporting IIS or Apache web server, PHP 5.2 or later, MySQL 5.0 or later, any web server distribution for example XAMPP, WAMP or LAMP will give you all these applications bundled in one. For installing web server, check tutorials available on Spoken Tutorial site at this link. In this tutorial, we will see how to obtain Drupal version, creating database using phpMyAdmin, installing Drupal and changing permissions for folder. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu version 11.04 and Drupal version 7. We'll use Apache and MySQL on Linux for demonstration. Let's start with downloading Drupal. For that, go to this URL and download Drupal latest version. And we will unzip files to document root folder. Let's start with downloading Drupal. Open your browser and go to this URL www.drupal.org slash project slash Drupal. On this page, go down further. Under Downloads, you will see Drupal version. Download Drupal 7 and next to it, there is tar.gzip and zip file download either of these and save it in your system I already have it downloaded we need to extract this file here we need to extract this file to document root folder which is www folder in my case depending on your web server environment it could be htdocs or www folder we need to double click on this and click extract to file system var www and extract it is extracted this folder now we can rename this it is extracted with the version number but we can rename it to whatever name we want let's keep it to Drupal for now before we go ahead with the installation we will need an empty database ready where Drupal can create tables at the time of installation assuming you have phpMyAdmin installed which is a graphical user interface for MySQL server we will use that to create new database go to browser and type in localhost slash php my admin right from here click on databases and let's create a new database by name Drupal 7 make sure that you do not leave any empty spaces in between while creating a database name you can select collation here and then create when we install Drupal the installation script will create tables here in this database right now it is showing 0 which means zero tables next we will need to create a new user for this database for that on from this top options select privileges and click on add new user type in username let's say Drupal user or new user from host select local and in 
password type in password that you would want for this user now click on go so this user has been created and has access for Drupal 7 database okay so we have Drupal files unzipped in our document root folder here we have our database created in PHP my admin and now we are ready for the installation let's go to browser and type in localhost and then go to the newly created Drupal directory I think I have typed in Drupal yeah here so type that directory name as it appears exactly and click enter this will start installation script and the first screen is displayed on the uh, on your screen we will go ahead with standard option save and continue I'll just increase font size yeah let it be in English you can also install Drupal in many other languages let's use default option now save and continue you see on left side as and when steps are done there is green check mark appearing in front of it there are some seven steps to continue complete we are at the third steps which is verifying requirements for uh, for us let's go down on this page it is telling me which web server I'm using the PHP version file system whether it is writable or not yeah this step is telling me settings file does not exist the Drupal installer requires that you create a settings file as part of this process it is telling me to copy settings file from this location to and rename it to this one let's do that go to our Drupal installation inside the folder alright I see below here there is a warning red mark which is saying settings file does not exist so Drupal requires me to do something it wants me to copy this file settings default.settings.php from this location and rename it to settings.php alright let's do that for that we will have to go to our Drupal installation inside the folder go to sites default and default.settings.php here it is asking me to copy this file and rename it to settings.php we will first copy right click copy paste now let's rename it to settings.php that's it let's go ahead and reload our page now settings file is not writable alright so we need to give folder permissions for that we will need to open our terminal go to application accessories and terminal so we need to give permissions to our sites default folder we will type sudo which is super user do ch mode to give permissions 777 is the type of permission I want to give minus r should extend it to subfolders and the file exists in my var www drupal alright var www drupal sites default default yeah that's the folder asking me for system password done looks like it should do it now let's reload wonderful so it has come to the next step which is setup permissions so now Drupal has correct the folder file has correct permission to write in my settings.php file it is going to write whatever next step information that I'm going to put in we are at database configuration screen and here 
it's asking me to type put in my database name the na database that i created using php my admin which was drupal 7 i think yeah and the same username that i created i did create new user i think yeah and the password this user has access right access to this database and save and continue here We are at the fourth step now, three more to go. It has taken all database details have matched username and password and now it is installing modules one by one. Now we are at the fifth step. Let's make site configuration changes. Here. First type in site information. You can give site name. I'm going to put in my first Drupal site. Put in your email address here. Go down. Now it's site maintenance account. Put in username that you want and email address again. and the password retype password reconfirm now remember this username and password details that you have entered in this step you should make note of it somewhere or use something which you will remember as this is super user account for your site and to do any administration for site you need to log in using these details go down here under server settings, I need to choose default country. I'm going to choose India and the time zone. Of course, these details you can change later on under site configuration section. Update notifications. Make sure you have this checked as Drupal updates you will get periodically in your email, especially security updates are important. Save and continue. Wonderful. Congratulations. You installed Drupal. To visit your new site, you should click on this link. You see on your left side, all these check marks are done. Everything is green. Let's click to see our newly installed Drupal site. This is how your site backend looks like. You will see your name here and the logout option. You are logged in as site admin right now. Let's come to the assignment part. I would like you to install Drupal 7 using standard options. Do the second installation with minimal options. Compare where they differ during installation and after the installation is complete. Video available on this URL summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials. We also give certificates for those who pass an online test. Please contact us for more details. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project, supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. For more information about this initiative, please visit following URL. Thank you. This is Lena signing off. Thanks for joining.